Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be cleaning my house. Um, not deep cleaning, but just mainly cleaning the mess Mason leaves behind everywhere around the house. <laughs> he loves playing with Play-Doh, so little bits and pieces are literally all around the house. So every time he goes to school, I tend to clean it up and just make sure that Chase doesn't eat any of the clay left behind. He loves playing with clay and kinetic sand. And for you mommies out there, you know how kinetic sand and Play-Doh could be. If you don't clean it up, it gets dried up and it gets really nasty. If this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, I do have a Great Dane. His name's Chase and he is only one year old. And one thing about Chase is that he is very overprotected with anyone in our family and our house. So anytime he hears loud noises or anything that he thinks that we're gonna be in danger with, he will either bark, try to bite, or attack whatever, whoever that is. So in the next clip, you're gonna see Chase trying to attack the vacuum. Because he hates them. He hates the loud noises that they make and he thinks that for some reason we are in complete danger when the vacuum is on. So enjoy this next clip because I know I can't stop laughing every time I watch it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Mason loves to play with kinetic sand and Play-Doh. And for that reason, I have to vacuum his room every single day. And if I don't, his carpet everywhere in his room would have Play-Doh and kinetic sand everywhere. My son is autistic, so for that reason, he loves sensory play. And kinetic sand and Play-Doh is one of his top favorite things to play with. So if it makes him happy, I will put up with the mess and I will vacuum every day if I have to, just to make him happy.
I haven't uploaded videos on YouTube in a while only because we've been busy changing things up around the house and remodeling. We've repainted our kitchen cabinets, we repainted all our doors, and we also painted the kitchen and living room. We also replaced all the trimming that Chase chewed up when he was a puppy. And if you guys ever been to my house, you would guys know he has made a lot, a lot of teeth marks all around the trim in our house. So we had to replace that. Now that he's older and he stopped um, chewing stuff, he's gotten a lot better. And so we decided just it's about time to change it. So we did. The next video I upload is going to be showing you guys everything we did with painting, the trimming, and uh, all that stuff so you guys can see the before and afters. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!